What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second round, final 10 of the Good Neighbor Days tournament in Washington, Illinois. Uh, you're watching Long Way to Pro and my coverage of my second round, back 10. Uh, I want to shout out my sponsor, Disc Golf America. Go check them out at Disc Golf America online. Use my promo code. I will link in the description as well as the referral code. Um, so, going into the back 10, I'm sitting at negative 4 on the round, negative 10 on the tournament. 345-foot uh, par 3 here, throwing my rat. Basically, I'm just conceding the par on this one. It's really hard to get there. There's danger behind the basket. I'm just trying to get up and down for par, giving it a soft bid with the wedge, but basically I'm just conceding, um, tapping this one in uh, for my par. So, Moving on to hole number 16. We have a par 3, 294 feet. Basically, it's dead straight, but you can take this wide hyzer route, uh, which I accidentally do. I had some bad grip lock, and I went around the tree and skipped to the circle. I'm telling my <laughs> card mates here, uh, there's a reason why you don't um, act like you completely messed up the shot until you've seen the result, because <laughs> I completely messed up the shot, but ended up getting a tap in birdie. So going on to hole number 17, par 4, really a bit of an early release there. The tee pad slopes slightly upward, so um, messed with my timing and I just let it slip out over here. There's really not that much of a look for birdie anymore. Uh, the stream does play as casual, and uh, that one was a bit of a grip lock. I get some skip towards the stream, um, but I'm not getting a birdie on this one. Here I'm putting with my rat, I believe. Nope, this is not my rat. This is uh, my warlock. I've had a couple of these come really close, and not really. That one, kind of close, but not really, and um, have this for par. It was a lot more windy the second round and also a little bit warmer, so I was dealing with some sweat and wind problems that were messing with my putts a little bit uh, in the second round. So going into hole number 18, par 3, 312 feet. This is my MD3. Trying to get this one to turn over. I force it on a little bit too much Anheuser. It looks like I clipped the trees, but I am sitting right at the edge of circle one, just inside circle two. Looking at another birdie. I uh, had this one just perfectly go in there. Uh, a little bit weak side, but if you kind of get a low hyzer going in there, it'll normally catch. I had that at 40 feet um, on my rangefinder. Hole number one, this one played as the hardest hole on the course on the day. With this wind, you really have to... Uh, the wind, wide rim disc that I'm throwing in the sweat made it pretty hard for me to get this one exactly where I wanted. Needed more turn on it. I kind of skipped to the middle of circle two. So it, it got up there farther than my card mates, but not really... Um, conducive birdie look here. Stepping out, sidearming the rat. Hit some trees, but that should be a tap in par, which um, this was playing, I believe, a half stroke over par, so I'm taking strokes on the field by tapping this one in for a par. It's, it's a legitimate par three on this course. It's a quality, quality hole. I really enjoy hole one at Washington. Going into hole two, it's my MD3 again. This thing has been my workhorse for this tournament. It's been flying so straight. I get this, just barely clipped the tree and almost kind of redirected it towards the basket. It's about 10 feet short. 
not even, looks like four feet. Uh, tap that one in for the birdie. <clears throat> Negative 13 on the tournament. Just feeling really good at this point. I have not checked the scores. I'm throwing my star TL3 here. Kind of scared about the hammockers on the right. But that headwind made that thing turn over, bouncing it around, missed every tree, which was what I wanted. It puts me inside the circle. This is a putt that I need to make if I want to um, keep myself in contention. And like so many putts today, I had it lined up perfectly, but it was just low. Tapping in a par. Can't be mad about that. I took a bogey in the first round, so getting a par kind of gets some sort of revenge on the hole. Uh, avert your eyes and skip forward about 30 seconds if you don't want to see some terrible disc golf on this hole. This is not a hard par 3 at all. It's 279 feet. This you should be able to get up and down every single time. I hit the tree, have this low ceiling, didn't really take my time there. That went a little bit deep, but it's not a bad shot. Puts me at about 20 feet for this putt. Lining it up. My putting has been pretty good all day, but that was just completely egregious miss. No idea what happened there. I'm still out. My four card mates watching this. Didn't really take my time. I mean, I did line it up, but tapping in a double bogey on a 279 foot par three definitely hurts, especially since I felt like I was staying in contention. And that puts me at negative 11. I checked the scorecard when I got to this hole, and I was sitting in second place, tied for second place here, even after the double bogey. So I, even though the people, the guy I was tied with had one extra hole than I did, uh, I really felt the pressure to get a birdie on this hole, especially, um, and I kind of grip locked it into this pine tree. Trying to give it a bid here with a tactic, and I went a little bit deep, giving myself a little bit of a tester on this one. Not where I want to be to be in position for the par, but I snuck it over the cage, got the par, still at negative 11 for the tournament. Going to the last hole, hole number six, really, really want the birdie here because I am still tied with the guy in second. He has two holes. This is my last hole. This feels like a must-get birdie. I birdied the hole throwing that disc on the drive the first time, but I ended up circle two. This one probably not making. This is a tough putt with the wind. Throwing the rat. Had this one land before, but I missed the putt. So taking a par on this one. Doesn't feel great, especially knowing that the guy behind me playing the hole right now is tied with me. I, as you can expect, I'm paying attention. You can kind of see me there in the background watching what's going on on the previous hole. I see uh, the guy I was tied with landed short, threw another shot, and then as I was walking back to the to the picnic shelter where the tournament central was. I noticed him miss his putt for par and he got the bogey giving me solo second place uh, on a 910 rated round. Definitely not my best round, but I played super solid. If I hadn't, I, I made it interesting for myself there a little bit on that uh, double bogey, but I felt pretty good about it. My putting certainly could have been better. But taking solo second, definitely my best tournament so far this year. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.